Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Halloween tutorial as promised and um, this month I'm just gonna do Halloween tutorials and I'm I feel inspired. I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know why because I'm normally not. But anyway, today we're doing like a very pretty skull I guess and also colorful so it's not gonna be just black and white and I've bought some rhinestones from my favorite craft store and they are like different shapes and sizes and you're gonna see how I'm going to use them and also I'm not gonna cover my brows because they suffered enough for the past two tutorials I've covered them in glue and I've lost some hairs and I'm not happy about this so they need to recover now anyway let's get cracking because it's late and I need to hurry up <laughs> Now, because I have an actual eye look this time, I'm going to start with the eyes as always. If I'll get fallout, then I'll be able to wipe it off and do my thing and um, not disturb my work, you know? The base I'm using here is a MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. You all know how much I love this. Your makeup will stay put a very long time and then I'm setting it to, just to be sure that it doesn't move. And then I'm taking a palette from Huda Beauty, which is in Emerald Obsessions and I'm kind of obsessed with it as well because look at this this is absolutely beautiful this uh, shade is my favorite this is my favorite color a mint shade so as you can see i didn't put any crease eyeshadow i want this eye look to be quite graphic and the lines will remain quite unblended i'm packing on that color and the shape of it as i've said is very i don't know 60s i guess but very modern a modern take of the 60s i really do love the palette the only thing i could say against it is about this particular eyeshadow the formula of it when you apply it you have you know a full impact but when you start blending it out you kind of lose that intensity you get i don't know bold spaces kind of and if you use the brush dampened then it kind of grips to that area where you apply it and you cannot blend it out you get like a defined line you know like i got in the crease area but in this case it's exactly what i wanted uh, with any other occasion i would have been maybe a bit mad anyway i'm a bit picky and i admit that but the palette is good i was babbling away and i didn't explain to you what i did further but you did see what I did I did eyeliner basically with the uh, emerald shade from the palette and this is as well so beautiful and powerful so now I'm going to start applying rhinestones in the crease area first and I'm going to take the smaller ones that are rounded and I'm going to place them kind of near to each other in a very defined line and to make them stick to my skin I'm first applying dots of glue this is a brush on glue and it's very easy to use Now I'm going to start tracing the guidelines and I'm using for this a eyeliner in the same mint shade and I'm doing first the nose and then the eyes and then the cheekbones. About the eye shape, I didn't want it to look like a classic skull look. I wanted to go outside the box, I wanted to express myself to just make my own skull. Oh and by the way, I am participating in a makeup contest organized by Airy Sunlashes and this look is one of two or three I'm going to participate with and i'm going to announce every detail on my instagram page when the time is right but for now this is just an info um i just wanted to tell you so that you know i'm relying on you you know i hope you're going to vote for me on my instagram page on their instagram page i'm not quite sure but the details are going to be soon enough on my instagram page as i've promised now i'm doing the hollows of my cheekbones and then the nose and then for the eyes and everything the contouring so to say i'm going to use the rhinestones but before applying the rhinestones i'm taking first the matte shade from the palette and i'm going to do with it a bit of a 3d kind of effect i'm applying this just where the line is of my cheekbone
Now I'm going to do the very fluffy brow as I call it. It's very in at the moment and I really do like the look of it. And I'm using for this a brow now stay in place brow gel from Estee Lauder. And this is um, just a transparent gel but very good. And I did apply about two layers so that the brows, the hairs stay in place as I want them to stay. And now I am just placing the rhinestones. In this order you can apply them as you wish. You can put smaller ones bigger ones square ones whatever you wish but this is just the way i like and the rhinestones i could find And just now I'm doing my base and I know it's a bit like scratching backwards but I do have a good reason for this. First of all I wanted to trace the lines and to be able to wipe it off if I did make mistakes. I didn't want to erase my work you know the base I did if I did make mistakes with the lines afterwards. So yeah that's one reason and then also the rhinestones apply better, stick better to the skin. If the skin is clean you know if it doesn't have like foundation and powder and everything on top. My foundation is actually a concealer which is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 20 and I'm buffing it out with a small blending brush for the eyes and for the bottom part of my face I'm just taking a smaller sponge with it. I'm also going to apply powder and on the smaller areas I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush that's for the eyes as well. For the lips, I want them to look one with my skin. I kind of want them to disappear, to, you know, to dull them down. And so I'm applying the Soft Ochre from MAC first and then powder on top. Then for the teeth, I'm going to use other rhinestones. They have this shape. And first, of course, I'm applying the glue and then I'm just going to glue them down in this kind of shape, sort of as the teeth also are. Now I'm finished with the rhinestones and I'm going to move again to the eyes and do the rest of them. And first I'm applying a mascara which is waterproof from MAC. I love this one, you know this. I normally don't apply on my top lashes, I did this time because I'm lazy. So now I'll be putting on those lashes from Arison Lashes. As I've said in the beginning of this video, they do organize the contest I am participating in and I am an affiliate. But just so you know, the quality of their products is so good. I wouldn't be an affiliate if it wasn't and this pair I've used and reused many times and it still looks like new. Affiliate code and every detail down below in the bar. Now I'm doing the brows, I'm making them even more fluffy looking. I'm using the same emerald green from the palette and I quite like the way they look. I'm not mad at it. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to do a very, very elongated kind of shape. And I'm following the outer half of my lower lash line. But as I go inwards, I distance myself from it. Both ends are very elongated, very pointy, and the flick is real. I'm making the waterline also green because I don't want it to take away from the lash line. I want the lash line to be the focus of the lower part of this eye. I don't want it to make it black so that it has more power than the lash line. I hope that makes sense to you because to me it does but I don't know if I could explain it well enough. Then in the end applying lower lash mascara and I'm finished with the look. I really did have so much fun creating it. I hope that you like it and if you do please give a thumbs up and subscribe here to my channel and follow me on my social that's very important to me and I'll see you next time. Bye!